Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. As I talk with people sometimes, they go visit their families and come back and have complaints about how badly it went. The outcome they got from that trip definitely was different than the expectation they had before they went. This is pretty common, actually. Sometimes our family can be some of the worst people we have to get along with. In some occasions, though, they can be some of our best friends. One thing you can count on most of the time, your family wants to see you succeed, even though they sometimes have a funny way of showing it. One of the things we have to be aware of, if you brought up in a small town, for instance, and then you've moved to the Bay Area or maybe to New York or one of the metropolitan areas anywhere in the world, and then you go back home and visit, your belief system has completely changed now. It's expanded way beyond where you were when you left home. Your parents, though, will have a tendency to isolate you and encapsulate you in that time that you graduated from high school or graduated college and moved away. When you come back, they're going to want to relate to you on that level. What you want to do is understand you've expanded and you're going to have a lot of interesting things to talk about and you could become very impatient in their misunderstanding of what's going on in your life or maybe even what your career path is or where you live or some of the things you enjoy. This could also be the case with some of your siblings. If they still live in your original hometown or even if they live in another area somewhere else in the country. Everyone expands. The mind once stretched to a new dimension never goes back to its original form. And always remember when your parents were raising you, they were on a path too to raise a bunch of children or a family and, and get them out there in the world. They're still on their path. They're living where they are. They're enjoying their lives. They have you all grown up now and moving on, but their life's different than yours. So they may still be in that little hometown. It doesn't mean they're stupid or they're not enlightened. It just means they're on their path. So when you go talk to these people, go with the expectation of they're probably not going to understand everything about you and not know how to really validate you and not look for that validation. Validate yourself. Also with your siblings, if you have a hard time getting along with your siblings, most likely the reason is, is they've grown one direction and you've grown another. Accept that, love each other for who you are, remember the good old days, and then support each other the best you can. Let's work on that. And between now and the next time you may see some of your relatives or some of your family, you might be traveling during the graduation exercises that come up this spring, or you might even be doing a summer vacation to visit them. Take your expectations to a place where you're going to go there just to appreciate them, love them, and be interested in what they're doing. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. And remember, morning jump starts 7 a.m. on the Pacific Coast. We look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.